welcome to Boxing Science. In this video, I'm going to be covering five landmine exercises to improve performance in boxing and combat sports. These five exercises target a range of different physical adaptations from lower body strength to rotational strength and stability. And we use the landmine quite often in the Boxing Science programs, not only down here at the Boxing Science Performance Center, but also as part of our programs that we do all over the world. And the reason why is because it's fantastic to use in facilities that might be limited on equipment. You can get a landmine attachment from many different online outlets. You can pop this into a weight plate, get an Olympic bar and put some weight plates on the end and you've got a full gym that's ready for you to use. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing five exercises, but exercises that you can use to do a full boxing science workout. So that's targeting lower body, upper body push and pull, You've got single leg exercise and you also got a core strength exercise at the end. At the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing the reps and sets and how to perform this workout. So make sure you stay tuned in, look at the demonstrations, then you've got a full workout to go away with to get you faster and stronger. This exercise is the landmine squat to press. Fantastic exercise to strengthen the lower body, strengthen that hip extension, but also with the pressing activity, it's great for kinetic chain sequencing as we're transferring that force from the foot, lower body, through core, all the way through to the upper body action. You're leaning into the bar, keeping feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed out, squatting into the movement, pushing knees out wide, nice and upright at the bottom, driving through the heels, and we're accelerating and driving with a slight lean at the top, pulling it back down into neutral position before we start again. What's important is that we get that slight lean at the start, not wanting to be too upright because of the natural arc of the landmine makes us go up onto our heels. And also make sure it's a full body movement. Don't want it to separate that movement from squat to press. As soon as I'm here, I'm thinking about pressing the overhead. I'm driving it up through the hips, through to the upper body, because the main reason for the press is not to strengthen the upper body, but to make sure that they're accelerating all the way through the movement. So I'm thinking, there, I'm accelerating to drive that bar in front. This is a landmine single arm split jerk, a fantastic exercise that can transfer to boxing. Got that kinetic chain sequencing from lower body through to the upper body. Great for shoulder strength and upper body speed, but also you've got that initial acceleration, that relaxed phase, and then that snap at the end of the movement, which can transfer into increasing the snap as we're coming into contact with the opponent. We start off with feet hip width apart, with the landmine just sitting into the shoulder, dipping down into that counter movement jump position, slight dip of the hips and knees, full extension, the bar propulsors off the shoulder, drop into that split stance position as we snap and push the weight in front of you. Majority of the weight going through this front foot, knee on line with the toe but not going over it, and you're sitting onto the heels of this front foot here, about 60, 70% of your body weight through this front foot. Back leg, your hip is extended, the back foot we heel just slightly off the floor. So start position, bring it down, and then repeat. You're gonna go for about five reps on each side. So a key mistake that I see a lot of boxers do is due to poor ankle mobility, when they do the dip, they'll end up going up onto their toes here. Also a lack of kind of toe-toe control, hip rotation that they'll drop in like that to try and gain momentum. What you need to do is make sure you keep that neutral posture, dipping back onto your hips, and getting that full hip extension. Make sure you snap at the end, not fully turning through. We're sitting back into it and creating that strength and stability using your body weight and locking out your arms. This exercise is a landmine single arm bent over row. Now I normally do single arm bent over rows using a dumbbell and kettlebell, but I'm gonna explain the reasons why that this is a beneficial exercise to do on the landmine. Like furthest away from the landmine, next to the fulcrum of the bar, I'm gonna hinge at the hips, so you've got a lot of tension going through your quads, but mainly your glutes and your hamstrings here to create that stability. Hinge at the hips, shoulder blades pinned back, we're grabbing the bar, keeping shoulder blades pinned back, 
pull it in into lower rib cage, slowly back down, and then repeat the rep straight away, not pausing at the bottom. Now, the reason why this is a great exercise is because you've got a natural arc, the landmine, going from in to wide. What we find quite difficult when doing kettlebell exercises is maintaining the arms to be quite wide, which will challenge that shoulder retraction. Often quite closed in, which is encouraging like shoulder blade protraction there and probably getting traps involved. This exercise here, making you keep into that neutral position at the start, but when you pull it wide, really challenging that shoulder retraction there, which will increase activation of your lats and also your upper back muscles. This is a landmine reverse lunge with the knee raise. It's a fantastic exercise to improve single leg strength and also get more glute activation into your reverse lunges. Now the reason why is because the knee raise actually allows you to get more range going through that reverse lunge because you start in the action from quite high up. That increases the demand on the lower body, especially the glutes. And also because you're having to accelerate all the way through the movement to bring up that knee you're increasing that force demands going through that single leg. So fantastic exercise to use and also something that you can perform at quite low loads as well, which is favorable to your boxers. With the knee raise, it's also going to increase some kind of hip stability demands and also some core strength demands as well. Feet together, length slightly into the bar. We drop down into that reverse lunge. Knee on line with toe, but not going over it. Weight is going through the heels of the front foot. Rear leg, knee just behind the hips. And then on the ascendancy, we're going to be driving through the front foot, raising that rear leg, bringing the knee up to level with the hip, toes pointed up towards the shin, keeping core tense. As we come back down into that reverse lunge, we soften the knee first as we come down. We're not wanting to start there, then drop back, start there. So wait, you can lose your balance on this one. Start from there, soften the knee, and flow through that movement. Landmine rotations, very popular exercise in boxing and a very useful exercise that we use at Boxing Science. More or less 95% of our programs have included landmine rotations. Fantastic exercise to improve rotational strength and stability, but also controlling anti-lateral flexion. It's really activating and strengthening the obliques that can really transfer into rotational power. Slightly into the bar, arms extended, hands together. It depends what how comfortable it is, but I say as close together as possible. Slight bend of the knee, torso upright. We're dropping down to one side. One arm bends, the other arm straight. We're rotating the torso, but we're not side bending. And also we're keeping them hips point forward driving it back into the center, controlling it down to the other side. And through. Some of the key mistakes here is control of the hips and torso, kind of sagging down. Now remember, the main benefit of this exercise is anti-lateral flexion, restraining from side bending. We're also looking to improve rotation of the torso. As soon as them hips pull out, we're losing that coil and we're losing that activation of the obliques here. We need to make sure that we keep our hips point forward all the way through the movement, allowing rotation of the torso, but not excessively side bending or rotating the hips. So they're the five exercises. Here's how to put it into a workout. First of all, you need to warm up. Do your mobility drills. If you need some help on this, go check out our recent video, the Boxing Science uh, warm up and also check out our mobility circuit poster as well. And then you're going to perform the landmine squat. You can pair this up with a core exercise. We suggest doing plank row. And then you can do superset between the landmine split jerk and the landmine single arm bent over row. And then you can do another superset of the landmine reverse lunge with the knee raise paired with the landmine rotations. You're more than likely going to need the same weight on the landmine for this one anyway. So you can flow from the landmine reverse lunge with knee raise into the landmine rotations. Let's perform a core circuit. Let's do a core finisher where you're just using either body weight or you can use a weight plate as well. Straight arm, straight leg sit-ups, leg lowers, and then finishing off with a supine hold. 
This workout should take only 30 minutes to do. Very limited on equipment. It's a fantastic workout to get you stronger, moving better, and also transferring into a faster, more powerful version of yourself. So thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, remember to hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed to the Boxing Science YouTube channel yet, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. Thank you very much. Hopefully see you soon at Boxing Science.